You know when you're staring at your phone in the dark and then shut it off only to see a ghostly rectangle floating around in your vision? That's called an afterimage. Why does this happen? Our eyes have these specialized cells called rods and cones which detect light and help us see. Rods are more sensitive to light, so they can be activated even in low light settings, giving us night vision. However, they don't detect fine details well, and they can't detect color. Cones need more light to activate, but they can detect color, giving us color vision in the day. There are three types of cones, each of which detect certain wavelengths of light that correspond to the colors blue, green, and red. Impairment in functionality of one or more of these three types would lead to color blindness. So let's test this out. Stare at the white circle until the screen changes. Now looking at this white background, what do you see? This is a recreation of what I see. Staring at something for too long can tire out the corresponding cone cells. For example, staring at the green circle tires out the green cones so they are less capable of activating. When the green is gone and you're looking at the white background, the white light, which is made of all colors of the visible light spectrum, still stimulates all three types of cones. Since the green cones are still recovering from their fatigue, we're mostly getting signals from the blue and red cone cells. When mixing red and blue light, we get magenta, which is the color of our after image. Did you learn something new? Make sure to follow Pueblo Science for more eye-opening videos.